The world, my friend, is going through a very difficult phase. We all are going through a difficult phase. Yes, you guessed it, right? In this video, I'll be sharing some very crucial information about coronavirus and COVID-19. Well, I'm savvy. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm an engineer in oil and gas industry. However, I do read a lot. I read from authentic sources like World Health Organization or WHO websites or from world-renowned doctors, scientists and analysts. India is a country of 1.3 billion people. The number of coronavirus cases is still low. Are we lucky so far or there is emergency ahead? Shall we panic? No, not at all. Shall we fear? Please no. But shall we not take proper precautions? Well, that would be totally foolish guys. So guys, I have been doing my research and studies on this and in this video, I'll be sharing all the information regarding all the precautions that you should take for coronavirus and COVID-19. <laughs> What is coronavirus and what is COVID-19? So coronavirus is basically a family of viruses which can cause simple illness like common cold to some very severe illness like SARS and MERS. COVID-19 is a disease caused by coronavirus and it has been identified in 2019 and first reported from Wuhan in China. Last week, it has been declared as pandemic by World Health Organization. So its symptoms usually include very simple cough, cold, fever, breathlessness, kidney failure and even death. Sometimes its symptoms are very similar to influenza and seasonal flu. Coronavirus is spreading. At this time, our main objective should be to minimize the spread of the virus. However, we should take proper precautionary measures against the coronavirus at the same time. Now, what are the precautionary measures? So the number one point and a very important point over here is to maintain social distancing. Please avoid any crowded places. We need to understand this that if a person is a carrier of coronavirus or is infected by COVID-19 disease, then the virus is spreading through his cough or sneeze and a person nearby might get infected by the virus. So at least try to maintain a meter distance from a person who is coughing or sneezing. What is happening? Like a very famous saying, if I get infected, I might infect three more people and th those three more people might infect even three more and that would be nine and the chain will go on. It will be very difficult to stop the spread in that case. So when we are maintaining social distance, but at the same time you are meeting some old friends, old colleagues, extended family members, you tend to do handshakes. Remember, no touching. So please avoid handshakes. Please avoid hugging people. In India, we have a beautiful way of greeting people. That is Namaste. You can say hi. Remember, the world knows the problem right now. Please don't hesitate or shy away to take proper precautions. So please avoid any form of touching. Number two is washing your hands. So you have to wash your hands very carefully for a few seconds with soap and water. And if soap and water is not available, then alcohol based sanitizer you can use. Now we all know that hand sanitizers are already out of stock or even if you find it, those will be very expensive. Guys, you don't need to spend too much of money on hand sanitizers. Soap and water is absolutely fine. We are doing the same. Also remember, if you are wearing any kind of gloves, that does not mean that you can skip washing your hands. So you have to still maintain proper hygiene and wash your hand with soap and water. Number three, avoid touching your face with your unclean hand. If you have to touch it, make sure that you clean your hands before you touch your face because the virus might survive in the hands. And when you are touching your nose, mouth, eyes, the virus can enter in your body through these parts. The next point is practice respiratory hygiene. Guys, we all have been reading about it since we were children. So when you are coughing or sneezing, make sure that you use your elbow like this. <coughs> Don't cough or sneeze in the open because you might be infected and remember, our bodies might be the carrier of the virus and when we sneeze in the open, we might infect other people. So avoid it and do not spit in the public areas. Always use a tissue paper to sneeze or cough and put it immediately in a closed bin. And also if you think that you are infected, then use a mask. I will talk about it detail later. The next point, do not hesitate in seeking medical care. Guys, 
as I mentioned that we need to contain the virus, we need to stop its spreading. So if we hide our illness and if we hide our symptoms, that will not help us anyway. Do not shy away or hesitate from taking medical help because our medical team in India as well as over the world are doing a great job. They are the real fighters guys and so so many people have already recovered from COVID-19. Just make sure that you reach out to proper medical team. And the last point is stay informed. It's not recommended that you read all the time about coronavirus and you watch the videos about coronavirus and panic. No, not at all. But reading the relevant information as well as following all the instructions. But it is very important that you are updated with all the latest news. So stay informed and follow all the instructions provided by your government as well as proper healthcare facilities. We can see that there is a lot of stress among people regarding coronavirus. People are sad, people are scared, people do fear. That is absolutely natural. But we have to remember that our medical team all over the world are doing a great job and there are so many people who are recovering from coronavirus. So while you are in social isolation, so you'll be spending more time with your family. Make sure that you build good memories, spend more time with them. Make sure that you maintain good hygiene and a very healthy lifestyle. Please avoid alcohol, avoid smoking or drugs during this time guys stop killing yourself by reading the number of deaths or by searching in google when the vaccine is going to arrive trust me there are so many deaths happening throughout the world every day but since this covid 19 outbreak we are counting the deaths that does not mean that COVID-19 is not the reason, but there might be some other associated reasons as well. But we also have to understand one thing that throughout the world, each day, so many people are dying because of illness. The people are also suffering maybe because of old age or might be some chronic diseases. And now when they die and by any chance, if they seem to be infected by coronavirus, then it is said that the coronavirus killed that person it might not be the only reason and also we sometimes are ignoring the fact that many people are infected by coronavirus but they are not showing any proper symptoms their body immunity is really well and they are fighting really good and also with maintaining a healthy lifestyle make sure that you try to build your immunity vitamin c is very important over here and the citrus fruits like lemons pineapple orange can help you with that so i am taking lemon water i am having oranges and pineapple and thoroughly enjoying it at this time it's not very important what you are eating but it's very important how you are eating it you have to remember that the heat kills virus so yes if you are eating cooked food it is usually considered to be safe please use separate utensils and spoons for raw food and cooked food now coming to the main reason why i made this video so there is a travel ban in india like many other countries but if you have to travel anyway because of some medical reasons for job or for any urgent travels that you have to do make sure that you follow certain rules number one please wash your hands again the same way with soap and water please do not touch your face it's the same rule that applies all the time if you are feeling unwell, if you are coughing, sneezing, feeling feverish or having some difficulty in breathing, please inform the crew and take medical help immediately. Please don't hide it. This is for your safety and for the safety of other people as well. While traveling, it is really a good idea to take only well-cooked food because you really lessen the chances of getting contaminated by coronavirus. And also please avoid people who is coughing or sneezing. Please maintain a proper distance and if necessary, please inform the medical team about a person who is suffering. You know what? There is a travel ban and often while interacting with so many people, I came to know that people are thinking that even if we stay at home, we might get the virus. So what's wrong in going out? Your body is a carrier of coronavirus. So you might be infected and you might infect many other people when you are traveling outside. And also guys, we do have social responsibilities. If you are not feeling well, please avoid travel because if you are carrying coronavirus, then you will infect many other people and that is absolutely not fair guys because you might have good immunity but you might infect somebody who is not well at this time so please don't do that now coming to a very important point if we all need to wear masks and if at all we need to use masks 
coronavirus has a comparatively large molecule size so stop chasing after n95 masks it is already out of stock and people are spending 5000 to 10000 rupees to buy a good mask or n95 mask it is not necessary because any kind of mask is good you also have to remember that healthy people do not need to wear masks it is only for the people who are taking care of covid-19 patients however if you are coughing or sneezing you need to wear a mask this mask is given to me from office i am not using it regularly and i did not spend money in buying expensive masks myself however if i feel unwell if i start coughing or sneezing i will surely use a mask so that i do not contaminate other people around you might have a friend a family member or a colleague who is returning from a coronavirus affected country don't worry there is proper measure for that person as well make sure that after returning he or she is in quarantine for 14 days this is your responsibility and you have to do this in the meantime if you feel unwell make sure that you reach out to proper medical facility over phone please don't rush to the hospital because if you are infected you might infect other people in the process so let them know let them know your travel history and they will tell you the proper way to reach out to proper facility there are a lot of rumors, myths, wrong information circulating all around the world. So let us discuss some of them. So number one, is there any specific medicine for coronavirus? Not yet guys. So the work is still ongoing. However, some medicines that treat pneumonia, flu, respiratory diseases have been found useful in some of the cases. Does antibiotics help? No, it does not because antibiotics are for bacteria and this is a virus. So antibiotics wo won't help. Number three, it will only affect the old people and it will never affect the young people. Remember that it might affect all the people of all ages. However, there are chances that the old people might have very less immunity or they might be suffering from other chronic diseases which often worsens the situation. So yes, the death rate in old people is more than younger people. Number four, can garlic prevent the infection with coronavirus? Well, garlic is a good food and has some antimicrobial properties, which is good if you can include it in your food, but it has no relation with coronavirus yet. Number five, do vaccines against pneumonia protect you against coronavirus? No, it is not the case. So the next myth is that the coronavirus cannot survive in hot and humid climates. Well, it is not yet properly confirmed because there have been cases where in hot and humid climates also coronavirus has affected. So yes, it can survive in hot and humid climate and climate is not the major factor at this moment. So there is another myth where it is said that spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body or drinking alcohol will help prevent the virus or killing the virus. No, it is not really the case. If the virus has already entered your body, then none of this will help. Can an ultraviolet disinfection lamp can kill the virus? Well, you should remember that you should not use any kind of UV rays to disinfect your hands because you can get some major irritations in the skin. Also, these hand blow dryers in the washrooms are not effective to kill the virus. Guys. Also, it is being questioned, are thermal scanners useful in detecting people infected by new coronavirus? Well, it can only detect people when the infected person starts showing the symptom as fever. Also, there is a myth that taking a hot bath will prevent getting infected with coronavirus. Guys, will you know the answer? That is not the case. Hot bath won't help you in that case, but proper hygiene will. Coronavirus cannot be transmitted through mosquito bites. Well, till now there is no information about coronavirus and mosquitoes. So let us assume that it is not transmitted by mosquito bites. I was hearing for some time about the approaching World War 3. Well, this is no less than World War 3 for me, where me, you and the whole world is fighting with a common enemy that is the COVID-19, the new disease by the coronavirus. So let us fight it all together. Please don't be selfish guys. Please don't be fool. But at the same time, please don't panic. That is not the proper way. Let us all fight it together. If I am infected, I will try to make sure that I reach out to proper people and don't infect other people. And you have to take that social responsibility as well. Stay safe and have great fun. Then guys, this is a travel channel and we do come up with good travel videos. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications.